This scene right here is the reason why Yakuza Fiance is going to be the best anime of 2024. I will be talking about it later in the video, so stay tuned for it and watch the entire video. For now though, another day, another cow milk. Yakuza Fiance's episode 3 just dropped and it was the best one so far. Hello there, my walking red flags who are watching Yakuza Fiance as dating advice. It is Mikre, the greatest critic and gamer ever from Ronin Realm and today we are going to be talking about... Wait, no, this is not the right one. Yup, this is it. The third episode of Yakuza Fiance dropped like two days ago and wow, was it good. Ever since the first episode, the anime has been showing great potential and except for the weird art style of the anime, everything is looking really good. Except for the looks, obviously, it's kind of a little funny. And I did say that Yakuza Fiance might actually be the best anime of 2024 and after watching the third episode, my opinion has not changed. Actually, I am fucking lying. My opinion has changed, but it's not because of the third episode of Yakuza Fiance. It's actually because of this new anime currently airing called Blue Box. The anime only has four episodes and it is one of the best anime I have ever seen and it is easily a top three rom-com for me. But today's video is not about Blue Box. I will make a separate video on it soon, so stay tuned for that. For now though, let's get back to... Yeah, yeah, how many times are we gonna do this? If you watched my last video I made on Yakuza Fiance, you must remember I said something about this guy and how he can be from a rival Yakuza gang. Well, fuck me, I guess, because I could not have been more wrong. I won't spoil you on who he is because god damn, his plot seems so interesting. Like, Yakuza Fiance is now reaching a point where in just three episodes, I'm starting to think that picking up the manga is a good idea. Uh, the episode 3 was absolutely great with good and funny moments throughout the episode, making sure you don't get bored, as well as some nerdy info dumping and a little bit of backstory magic, making it a perfectly enjoyable episode. One thing which I find really weird is that three weeks in, when I watch and listen to the opening again, this time, I love it. Like, sure, if, it, if a music takes you three weeks to like and enjoy, then it's not the best song in the world. But this time when I heard it, I genuinely enjoyed it. The ending of the song is an ending song of the anime is absolutely great. This little dance is funny and cringe though, but overall the ending is really good. And this anime at least has animation unlike some other popular anime that we know. The episode didn't really have much or any action in it at all, but that just proves that Yakuza Fiance is not just an action and adventure heavy anime. It has slice of life aspects in it too, which it does a great job of showing. With each passing episode, the audience's love for Yoshino just keeps on increasing and hate for Kirishima just keeps on doubling. One of the funniest scenes in this episode was when it turns out that Kirishima is cheating on Yoshino and Yoshino just tells him, I don't care if you're fooling around with other women because you have no importance in my life. And that was just really funny. One thing which is great about Yakuza Fiance is that it doesn't follow your usual dynamic high school romance. Yeah, and believe it or not, all three of the characters, Yoshino, Kirishima and Shoma, the new very interesting guy at the last episode, all of them are in high school. But yeah, Yakuza Fiance is not like other romantic anime. It also consists of the gross, horrifying and outright disturbing things in life and it does a really good job of showing it. I mean hey, there's a reason why Yakuza Fiance is a senin, you know. The new character Shoma is a, is a very scary guy if I were to put it, it, if I were to define him in just one line. Like, I loved his personality and his dedication to his people. If the safety of his loved ones is in jeopardy, he will fight anyone to ensure their safety and he would do anything for his loved ones. And it's very nice and refreshing watching him because he is the complete contrast or opposite of Kirishima. We also get to see a bit more of the main character's grandfathers and how they are sort of childhood friends and have known each other and worked with each other for like decades. One thing that I found very peculiar is, the, is this one scene where the long hair guy comes in and Zoro goes away with him, leaving Yoshino's grandpa, the sexy Chad, alone. Now yes, I know my last prediction was horribly wrong, but I can predict this time that there is going to be some sort of betrayal very soon. Like, if this is a show about Yakuza, of course, loyalty is not their strongest fortitude. And I'm genuinely interested in what happens with all the clans and subclans, you know, soon in the video, in the, sorry, in the anime. One thing which is completely illogical in the anime though are the age factors of everyone. Both Kirishima and Yoshino are only 17 year old and yeah, since the age of consent in Japan is 16, they can fuck anyone, but it's still so weird. Plus it turns out that every powerful member in any clan that they have joined, they have joined it at a very very young age, like around the age of 10 to 12. I didn't even know the difference between mud and food when I was 10 and these people are killing others at that age. 
that is the one thing that makes no sense in this anime but other than that i have i really have no problem with this anime on the bright side everything else is really well done and uh, because this anime follows a more mature route and love story in general the age doesn't seem to be that big of a problem there are not really a lot of high school episodes so age doesn't play a, a really important aspect because when they interact you do feel like okay these characters are genuinely adults the next episode does show a lot of promise and you can anticipate a lot of good things from it and one thing that yakuza fiance does absolutely perfectly is the way they end their episodes all three of the episodes so far have had great endings which always leave you craving more and anticipating what's to come next and episode 3 has done the has done it the best so far this also brings us to the so called revolutionary and best scene i was talking about at the start of the video i personally don't think that it's a revolutionary scene But hey, if it managed to make you stay until now, it worked. And if you're enjoying this, might as well subscribe. You know, I mean, you have come so far. But coming to the scene, this is a bit of a spoiler, yes. But deal with it. In the end of the episode, they show that Kirishima goes to meet Shoma, the guy from the end of the last episode, and that is where the episode ends. Now, why is this such an important scene? You ask me, because both Kirishima and Shoma are absolute maniacs. In the middle of the episode we see Kirishima studying Shoma's file and gathering information about him so he knows something about Shoma that we don't know and knowing him Kirishima wouldn't think twice before attacking Shoma and just when they get in front of each other the episode ends god they know how to end their episodes perfectly i personally don't think that anything huge is going to happen just yet because it's way too soon and the way the pacing of the story has been going so far i'm sure they are not going to rush it That is really all that I had to say for today. This was by far plot wise the best episode of Yakuza of Yonsei and and I absolutely loved it. It was a great video all in all and it was it genuinely was really enjoyable. The anime shows a lot of promise and whether you are into rom-coms or not, I think if you have like a sort of a little bit of a mature mentality where you can accept fucked up things, you are going to love this anime. If the story keeps going at this pace I will pick up the manga very very soon so let's just hope that it is going to be good as we expect unlike some other anime you know but anyways that is really all that was the revolutionary which is not really revolutionary scene at all so I am really sorry for that but you know a man's got to do what a man's got to do like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're brand new 1k likes and I will do a complete uncensored review of everyone's favorite family friendly anime overflow and subscribe right now like how are we behind mr beast when it comes to subscribers subscribe right now and let's crush him i will make a video on this time for real probably the best anime of 2024 very very soon so stay tuned for that and if you want to know what the best rom com anime of all time is click here that is all level up quick and don't be a dick see you next time